Now, I know the clip that you just watched of that is kind of absurd. How can a scout rifle shoot that fast? Well, in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the god rolls you can get for the new Guardian game scout rifle that came to the game called the Taraxipos. Now, on how to obtain the scout rifle, it's honestly pretty easy. When you log into the game, you go to the tower here, you'll talk to Evil Levante, and then what you will do is complete this recreational playlist. You'll only have to do that once and to earn enough points, get some medallions, whatever. Again, you can also do the Crucible playlist if you would like. Basically, just complete that quest up. You'll come back, you'll talk to her, you'll talk to Zavala, talk to Shax, go back and talk to her, and then you can get the Scout Rifle. Now, for the other quest, all you have to do is just progress these quests, the Shoot to Score and the Vine for Supremacy quest. Again, you want a Platinum score for these, so you can go up here and jump on all these plates. Pretty much each one has a chance to give you one very high chance, by the way. And then once you get to the gold and the platinum ones, they give you automatically masterwork ones. So keep that in mind. This is the base roll that everybody gets. So it's perks, comes with polygonal rifling, the fluid of barrel, accurized rounds, then Zen moment, causing damage with the weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. And then we have two options for trait call number two, we have Kill Clip, Reloading after a kill grants increased damage, and then also Explosive Payload. Projectiles create an area of effect detonation on impact. As you can tell, it's a pretty solid roll for PvP, but it does get better as we saw right in the beginning. Its origin trait actually comes with something called Classy Contender. Now, this weapon and the title SMG can only come with this at the moment. Next, let's go over the perks that this can come with. So, in regards to barrel and magazine options, it comes with, you know, all the typical... Uh, ones that you would see with other weapons. You know, arrowhead break is good for uh, controlling the vertical recoil. Uh, polygonal rifling for stability. Small bore for a general bump to range and stability. Uh, hammer force rifling, full bore, and extended barrel for just more range in general. We do have options. Again, magazine, accurized rounds, increased range, steady rounds for stability. Flared magwell and tack mag for increase, and tack mag just for general bumps to uh, stability and reload. And then, obviously, extended mag, penna mag, alloy mag, but the trait perks is what I want to talk about. So first up, we have gut shot straight in trait call number one. Aiming down sights increases buy shot damage, decreases target acquisition. Next, offhand strike. Final blows grant additional weapon range, stability, and accuracy when firing from the hip for a short duration. Next is moving target. Increase movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Four times a charm. Rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds to the magazine. Again, that's four headshots, and then we'll get refunded two. We already talked about Zen moment, but causing damage with this weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. Outlaw, precision kills greatly decrease the reload time, and then no distractions. Aiming this weapon for a short duration reduces flinch. Then for trade call number two, we already talked about it, but explosive payload, projectiles create an area of effect detonation on impact. Next, hatchling, easily one of my favorite just PvE perks to have, especially for strand subclasses. I mean, hatchling is kind of good in crucible as well, PvP, but I like hatchling because precision final blows are rapidly defeating targets with non-precision weapon spawns a threadling at the target's location. And I really like this for a swarmer's build for the warlock because it's another way to create another threadling. So if you want to build for that, I already have it on the channel. Next, let's talk about Cascade Point. This is actually the perk that you saw in the beginning of the video, allowing the scout rifle to have a faster rate of fire. So it's perk. Final blows or sustained precision hits with another weapon increase the weapon's rate of fire for a short duration. This is insane, especially for the Crucible. Like the faster TTK you can have, especially on a scout rifle, is just absolutely disgusting. Just get one kill with any weapon, your energy or heavy, boom, cascade point kicks in. <laughs> as you can tell, it's kind of disgusting. Next up, we have Focus Fury. Dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage. The shot count is reset whenever the weapon is reloaded or stowed. Next, we have Encore. Final blows grant a stacking stability, range, and accuracy bonus to the weapon. Precision final blows grant more stacks. Then, we already talked about kill clip, but reloading after a kill grants increased damage. And then keep away. Increased reload range and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity. Again, it's a solid perk for PvP, but the cascade point kind of takes the cake right now. All right, let's talk about how it performs first in PvE. Let's talk about a god roll that you could potentially get as well. So, in general, it performs like any other scout rifle, honestly. It's like the hung jury, but it's a strand weapon, so if you have any synergy with, uh, you know, your subclass or anything else, it could work out well. Currently in Season of Defiance, scout rifles have unstoppable rounds, so again, this could potentially be good the last couple weeks of the season, but in the future, who knows, it might get anti-barrier overload or whatever for scout rifles, so just keep that in mind. In regards to a barrel, it honestly doesn't matter what barrel you use, in my opinion. Um, if you want to go airhead break for the uh, better vertical recoil, totally go for it. But 
you really, it doesn't really matter what barrel you use. Polygonal rifling for stability, it's like, oh, it's great, it's a scout rifle. More range for hammer forge, full bore, extended barrel. It doesn't really matter. If anything, maybe just go with small bore so you get the slight increase to range stability without hindering your, uh, you know, your handling or your other stability, stuff like that. For the magazine, I would recommend flared magwell. Uh, optimized fast reloading, uh, so slight increased stability and greatly increases reload speed. I'd also look into TAC mag. Again, that slightly increases stability, increases reload speed, and then slightly increases the magazine size. Or I would go with a pendant mag. Increases the magazine size. Um, the reason I go with pendant mag over extended mag is like, yes, extended mag gives you a couple more rounds, but it slows down that reload a lot. If you wanted to have extended mag, I would recommend potentially having outlaw for trade con number one. Again, with the fast uh, reload on a precision kill, you can just reload the gun fast, which will pretty much counter the reload speed from extended mag. So keep that in mind. The only other good perk, in my opinion, in trade con number one is fourth times the charm. You know, rapidly landing those shots will return more rounds to the magazine. But the only other perk that really kind of goes with that is focus fury, because again, you have to deal half the magazine as precision damage to get the bonus for the weapon. And to be honest, it's not worth it. There, I'd rather just go with Outlaw for trait call number one. And then for trait call number two, we do have a couple options. Obviously, Hatchling here, like I mentioned. Love Hatchling. It's great. Especially just having the little buddy spawn to take out other ads is pretty cool, in my opinion. If you wanted to do Cascade Point just for a fast running scout rifle, you could do it. But I'd rather opt for Hatchling or Kill Cliff. You know, just reloading after kill gives increased damage. Having increased damage in PV activities is always a solid option. Now, in regards to PvP, the Crucible, this thing, it's not crazy, but it is entertaining to use, to say the least. We do have a lot of perks here that work extremely well in PvP. You know, I'd recommend Barrel-Wise Arrowhead Break for that vertical recoil. Again, if you wanted to go Hammer Forged, uh, Full Bore or Extended Barrel for the range, or Polygonal for the stability, you can. But honestly, having that recoil direction pretty much be vertical for you for the Scout Rifle is going to help out tremendously. For the magazine, I'd highly recommend accurized rounds for that increase to range. If you don't really care about the range, you could go uh, uh, steady rounds here. Again, that will increase your stability and it'll reduce your range just by a little bit. Plus, steady rounds also increases airborne effectiveness by a little bit. So, nothing crazy, but again, if you do want to use a scout rifle, as you can notice in some of the clips, I'm uh, actually floating uh, using heat rises on the Warlock because, again, everyone's doing that right now. Like, it, it, it is what it is. It's typical Warlock behavior, having a long-range weapon and being in the air far away to where you can kind of see certain angles that other people can't. So, it's kind of entertaining. For trade call number one, I would highly recommend moving target. Again, increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Again, it's just a bump to the aim assist, so... It helps out a little bit. Another one I'd recommend is Zen Moment. Causing damage with this weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. Again, basically hitting that uh, first hit and continue hitting shots with this weapon will have that increase to stability, pretty much making it a beam as long as you can hit your shots. So it does help out a lot. And then I'd maybe recommend Outlaw, you know, just for the fast reload on a precision kill or potentially no distractions. Aiming down sight uh, with the weapon gives you a short period that reduces flinch. And again, flinch in the Crucible can be a little ridiculous as we know. For trade call number two, we do have some interesting options. Again, with explosive payload. Again, people love this freaking perk. Obviously on hand cannons, especially the rows. Explosive payload's good. You can hit targets that are behind cover potentially as well. So that ends up working out. Uh, if you wanted to go hatchling, go for it. Again, it's kind of niche, but it is what it is. Uh, with cascade point, highly recommend it, especially just in general, because most of the time, if you're going to be rocking a scout rifle, you want a short range weapon with you as your secondary, whether it's, you know, primary as a sidearm or an SMG, or even special weapon wise, you know, a shotgun or a fusion rifle. That's just my opinion, though. But being able to just get one kill with, you know, your secondary weapon, your energy weapon or your heavy weapon and getting that increased fire rate for this weapon for a fast TTK is just absolutely disgusting and <laughs> very satisfying as you can imagine other than that you could also do kill clip again reloading after a kill grants increased damage having increased damage in the crucible increased ttk it's gonna be good in general but if you wanted something a little more consistent you could do keep away again giving that increased uh, reload range and accuracy when no combatants are in close proximity again it is a scout rifle so you will be <laughs> more than likely farther back in the map it just it's just how it plays. It is a scout rifle. You have to scout. You need some distance between you and your target. So that is just how that works in my opinion. 
Overall, I think Budgie did a solid job with this option. Again, I do like scout rifles. I like Omelon scout rifles. I love the hung jury. I love hung jury in Destiny 1. I like it in Destiny 2, obviously. Having a gun just like that, but strand, just, it, it's fun. But having Cascade Point as a trait called number two perk just makes this gun so fun in the Crucible and so satisfying. So I'd recommend picking it up whether you're going to use it for PvE or PvP. In any event, guys, if you like what you saw or heard, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on the bell next to notifications so you don't miss out on another video here on the channel. If you didn't know, we actually stream live three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Friday evenings on YouTube and Kick. Again, if you want to know where I'm going to be streaming, I always post it on Twitter at It's Dave TV. I also post other updates there, especially for YouTube content and just in general stuff. But if you want to join my Discord as well, I also keep my Discord updated with my schedule. That link will also be in the description. Again, whenever we play Dusty 2 together, we are talking in my Discord, you know, whether you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation, all those places have Discord now, which is great. So whether we're raiding, doing dungeons, or PvP, you can just come hang out in the Discord. We also have other games in there as well that people like to talk about, plus PC tech, anime, and more. Lastly, if you didn't know, we hit YouTube partner here on the channel, which is just freaking awesome. It's given us access to a lot of cool things here on the channel, one of those things being memberships. If you don't know what a membership is, it is essentially like a Twitch subscription. Again, it is just another way to support me here on the channel so I can continue making YouTube content and build videos and etc. for you guys here. So if you would like more information, all you have to do is press the join button next subscribe and I'll give you a rundown with all the details, including the exclusive emotes, the monthly badges, and other cool stuff that you can get access to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been your boy. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.